two, one, action. What's going on? What are we doing tonight, Charlie? We're doing weeded bourbons. Weeded bourbons. So we have two weeded bourbons here. We've got your old elk double wheat, which is happens to be one of my favorite bourbons right now. Charlie's probably sick of hearing me talking about it. A little bit. And we have a Woodford Reserved weeded bourbon, right? Correct. Yeah. What yeah. is this? Uh, this was on my bar and open, and we wanted to do a comparison. So this is uh, Woodford Reserve Distillers Select. Uh, wheat whiskey. It is uh, only 90.4 proof, so it will be a little lighter hitting than your... Yes, this is 107 proof, I believe. Um, I don't have my reading glasses. Excuse Charlie. me. Let me help you there, Granddad. 107.1. Um, so, what do you think? Should we do the uh, lower proof one first? Let's uh, do the lower and, proof and do one that? first. Okay. So, let's... Uh, let's I'll, I'll pour in the, uh, the uh, glasses I have over here. So... Um, now this is a full disclaimer, I'll give you a little more than that. Full disclaimer, I do not like weeded whiskeys. Um, before you send in your hate mail, uh, I don't care, I don't like them. So I am eager to drink the old elk and tell Glenn how wrong he is about it being very good. So there's to you, uh, my friend, uh, uh, cheers. Cheers. And this is uh, Woodford Reserve uh, Weeded Whiskey, bourbon. And I, Whew. I must be honest, um, although Woodford Used to be one of my favorites when I first started drinking bourbon. Now it simply is not. Yeah. So I have not tried this the weeded, so I'm anxious to see how I like it. Although I have to talk about Woodford Double Oak. That's a different story. So well, let, don't, let's, get, don't get me wrong there. Let's talk nose, okay. then we'll take a sip, and then we'll talk uh, talk Woodford. So what, what are you getting on this? It's it's pretty light on the nose. Very light. Yeah. Very, very light on the nose. Um, not picking up much at all, really. Yep. So, and full disclosure again, this has been uh, open on my bar for a little while. It does have a really nice color. It does. Uh, and it has really nice legs. It, it really clings to the glass, which is really surprising for 90 proof. So, I agree. Here we go. Bottoms up. It's not repulsive. It's not. There's just not much to it. No, there's yeah, not. there's not much to it. It, it is um, like wheat light, I guess you would say. But and again, this is full disclosure. I typically go for a higher proof bourbon. Um, Ninety proof is not in my wheelhouse. Honestly, a hundred proof is typically not in my wheelhouse. I'm, you know, kind of a, a, a barrel proof bourbon. I want it, you know punch me in the mouth with some flavor there and uh, some burn. So um, it's very light, no really to me endearing quality, negative or positive. It, it's a nice little sipper, I guess. I wouldn't be afraid to make a cocktail out of it. I wouldn't I wouldn't throw it at you if you put it in front of me, but I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't come over to your beautiful bar and say, hey, Charlie, break out the Woodford. Weeded. Weeded. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you can taste, you can taste the wheat. Yeah. It's got that. I don't even know what that taste is that most weeded bourbon has. I can't describe it. Gross. <laughs> we'll edit that out. But yeah, it's, it's, it's there. It. It's there. But there's not much else. There's not much else. And once again, it's 90 proof. Yeah. So, and through the magic of editing, we'll make these disappear. Watch us slide it slightly outside of frame. That's probably still in frame. But uh, right. yeah, fine. Uh, why don't we uh, pour, some, uh, so. pour some old elk? Let's talk about this old up. Let's talk about it. So we can read this is very high wheat content, 71.5% wheat, 25% corn, and only 3.5% barley. So it is a blend of six year old elk weeded bourbon and uh, six, seven, and eight year old elk wheat whiskey. This is also distilled in Indiana. So, oh, you made it pop. Uh, yes, this is MGP. So, Juice. if you're not familiar uh, with Indiana and MGP, a lot of your favorite brands, and especially newer brands, are probably MGP distilled in Indiana. MGP is short for Midwest Grain Products in Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Um, Boone County Distilling. Um, High West. Uh, there, there are a lot of 
distilleries that when they started, obviously, when you start a distillery, guess what you don't have from day one, Glenn? You don't have aged bourbon. You mean when we open and do our ribbon cutting, we don't have six-year-old bourbon to no. present to market? Well, whatever will we do? You go to MGP and pick out some really awesome bottles and barrels and throw it in a bottle that you picked and throw your label on it. So that's what we're drinking now. A lot of people hate on MGP, but honestly, there's a reason why distilleries or bourbon I think companies he, all across I, America I, I source think their, their product. From people the are industry. already starting to catch on, but I think as, and I, I've told friends of mine before, um, as time marches on, I think people will look back to this period of, you know, 2017 to now where companies like Boone County and High West and, you know, Old Elk or whoever else was putting out really ultra age, 12, 13, 14 year old barrel proof, amazing bourbon. And it's, in my opinion, some of the best bourbon that you're ever going to drink. And uh, whether it came from a, a bourbon factory in Lawrenceburg, Indiana, doesn't really matter if it's freaking awesome. So, nose? Well, Charlie. You've gone smell deaf, Glenn. <laughs> I don't have a great smeller to begin with, but and my uh, sinuses are acting up on me a little bit today, so I'm not picking up what I normally do on this one. What do you normally, normally pick up and I'll look for it? I'm going to go, and don't laugh, I'm going to go with the... <laughs> Here it comes. The, the old leather. <laughs> old leather. No, it, it, it usually, and I don't... It's the, more of a tannic smell. Yeah. So this is much more musty than I thought it would be for a weeder. Uh, and again, really great color. I mean, it's really beautiful. nice, and, it's and it 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 also clings to the glass. So I, I also I don't know if you can see these. These are Glenn's fancy glasses that he brought. They're they're very thanks very to my nice. lovely wife. They're plastic, but don't tell anybody. They're not plastic. <laughs> but, okay, bottom there. That I mentioned when we started, that uh, I do not like wheat whiskeys or weeded bourbons, and this is no exception. You don't like it? No, I don't. Um, I think I don't like, there's just something in my palate, and there are two things that I don't like, and Glenn knows both of these things. Number one is wheated bourbon, and number two is... Corn. No. Knob Creek. <laughs> but that's what... Uh, oh, I, I wasn't even going to go. Yeah, not, I Knob Creek. I, there is not a, and this nothing. I against, wasn't going to defile Knob Creek's name by even bringing that up. But. Knob Creek and my palate don't get along. Don't send your hate. If you're going to send your hate mail, send it to Glenn's address, and we'll post it at the bottom of the screen later. Send everything there. Uh, but there's not been a Knob Creek that I like, and it's just there's something about my palate that when I taste it, it doesn't agree with me. And weeded bourbons are no exception. And that's a great thing about bourbon because everyone's palate's different. And whereas he does not like Knob Creek, I happen to love Knob Creek and just about everything that they put out. I happen to love this old elk. Um, to me, I get a lot of caramel. Um, there is a, once again, it's, there's a, a, a tannic taste to it that it's, it's one of those things that you don't like it, but you do. Does that make sense? Not to me. Like, um, what, what's something else? Like yogurt. We're really going off script here. <laughs> so this is our 10th bourbon review of the evening. And now we're comparing bourbon to yogurt. <laughs> so keep keep watching what our I mean videos for this was. hard hitting. You know what I mean. You <laughs> taste yogurt, it's got some fruit in it. It's kind of tasty, but it's got that... Uh, that Bitterness? No, 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 no. <laughs> bitterness call it what you will I like it I like caramel I like those sweeter flavors I do um, and this is what's great about bourbon to echo Glenn's sediment statement sediment statement I don't get any of that sediment I get um, what do you just get? a bitter and this is what my palate gets from weeded. And that's, is, that's the taste I'm talking about. Well, so. but I don't get any other enduring qualities except like a bitter dryness. Um, and I just don't, I don't like them. 
I don't like them. The only exception um, that I have for weeders is Weller 12. Weller 12 is a weeded bourbon, and I kind of like Weller 12. Um, I'm not popping bottles of it and hoarding it and waiting in line for hours to get it, but if it's around, I'll, I'll absolutely drink it. Special Reserve, that's what this tastes like to me. This tastes like Weller Special Reserve to me. The funny thing is, is I am not a Weller fan. Well, the magic <laughs> of bourbon. So go, go figure. Yeah. So this tastes like Weller Special Reserve to me. It has that same kind of kind of bitter finish, but I mean it's fine. Again, I'm not gonna spit it out or have a conniption fit like I was drinking Mount Creek. But it, you know, we did bourbons. So. All right. So we're we're. We're in disagreement. We have one vote. <laughs> yeah. For so, one bottle. Ooh. Uh, I'd vote for the old elk because there is character and flavor there. There it is. And maybe that's it. Maybe that's why I like it. There is. It's it's an interesting yeah. bourbon. It's, it, it, yeah. it's not boring. It's, it's not. not uh, it, it, whether you have a, a bad reaction to it or a good reaction to it, you you're going to have reaction. a reaction. Yeah. To it. And if you like weeded bourbons, then I can wholeheartedly say that that's a weeded bourbon, and you will probably like that. So, what's MSRP on that bottle, Glenn? <laughs> Why are you talking uh, about it? Right around $100, unless you can find it at Meyer on sale in the right spot. And then how much is it? <laughs> then it's, I think I paid $69, maybe $69. Seventy-nine for this one. I can't remember. That's a respectable amount of money in today's market to oh, pay my for. Wife doesn't watch this. She, nobody's watching this. Because, <laughs> but at least of all your wife. So, so True. well, that's our uh, weed and whiskey review. Um, cheers. Cheers. And uh, drink some more stuff. Till next time. Till next time. Peace out. Cut. <laughs> that's gonna be in the outtake.